Tonight we're going to talk about how to make 9 of 24. That's what I call this part because that's the list for it inside uh, the PowerPoint. I'm sorry, the PDF that I have. It's a ninth drawing. 9 of 24 is interesting because it is not on a linear plane, a horizontal or vertical plane. Its back wall here is actually at a 15 degree angle. So the biggest question is how do you make something like this that's on a slanted surface? Well, Inside Inventor 2019, I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing I ask you to do, this is an inch, this first thing I ask you to do is turn all your planes on. Next thing I do is I always say go home, not literally, just the home button right there. And there's a few ways to figure this out. The way that I recommend you do it is to create a backbone that you're going to use for how to start this thing. The focus of this object is this spot right here, this 15 degree slanted surface. Everything is off that surface. The reference for everything is right there, which means we need to account for it to make the reference for where these are because these are on that plane. See that? Everything is off of that plane. So even if I draw these shapes here, I change the color real quick, and I, I have this shape here. That shape is on this surface right here. So that's a vertical horizontal surface there. But the, sur the surface it goes to, that it intersects with, this is at a slanted angle. You need this to be able to build these front pieces and vice versa. You can't really finish the job without having these references in here. These actually, one can argue, are a product of where this slanted surfaces because this two and a half inch reference is to the back edge of this part and to the front face over here. So you can't find this surface to extrude to without having first built this reference, this slanted face, half inch thick of all things going backwards, half inch. Not forward, backwards. Keep that in mind. Not forward, backwards. Because this reference surface, you'll notice, is half an inch that way. And the two and a half inch mark is from the back side of where that surface ends. So we don't know where that is. Yeah, we could run the math, but I'm not going to run the math. I'm going to draw my answer instead. That's the way I'm going to do it. So here I have this surface. So I can, if I want to, whoops, did I do that right? I went and drew on this, I picked this surface. Nope, that's the wrong surface. Because where is this angle in reference to which face? It's not in reference to This plane is actually a reference to this plane. So this sketch is on the wrong face. So we're going to delete that. This is the plane I want to draw a sketch on. And the sketch I'm going to draw of all things is my surface, that angular face that I want to build. This angular face is going to be 15 degrees. And of all things, I'm going to set it to a height of three, three inches. So it's 15 degrees at an angle of, I'm sorry, it is 15 degree angle at a height of three. Where's the three coming from? Right there. So what I'm literally drawing is this. See that little triangle I just drew in the picture? Try to emphasize it right here, this thing. 
going to try to fill it in with my crazy little marker here. See that? That shape is this shape. That's what I'm drawing first. So if I erase everything else out, that is going to be my reference for this object. That would be the ideal way to start this part because I'd have this angle right there to build the shape point. Let's try that one more time and try to make it as straight as possible. That shape. So if I look at it here, that's what it looks like. This triangle here is this triangle here. Obviously drawn correctly. It's tough to draw it freehand on the little image over here. <clears throat> what that gives me is this piece. That's all I need. Once I have this in here, then I can add, I have to maximize this, a plane. Now I can add a plane. So I can pick this plane and pick that. Uh-oh. Where's my... Pick that. Ah, hold on. There we go. Uh-oh. It didn't let me select it. Why? When I pick my sketch, what, what was it about my sketch? I have this height. I could delete that and delete this. But then I don't have an angle. So what should I have done? This and this as construction geometry. Then I can pick this for my plane. I've got a reference. Like, there you go. See that? Watch. This one solid line is what it has to see. It cannot see the other two lines. They have to be construction geometry. That's how I'll be able to control adding a plane in at a given sketch position. So I pick this, and then I can pick, come on you, for some reason it won't let me pick my plane. I don't know why. Let me try that one more time. This plane, I love technology. This to there. See that? Then I'll stop my mouse. See that? That sketch and its XY plane, when I do that and I hit OK, I end up with the plane that I want at the angle I want it at. Let me go back to home and orbit this a bit. To that plane, it's exactly where I want it, and it's controlled by this sh by that dimension. If I change this dimension to 30 degrees and update my drawing, did you see my plane jumped over there? See that? Change this to 45 degrees. Watch up here, real quick. See this? Update. Boom, my plane bounced over there. Change it to 15 degrees. Here's my plane. See that plane right there? See it? When I hit update, it bounces up to wherever my line is. This plane is driven by this dimension. That is the ultimate way to control a plane in any position. But it requires that I have a sketch. And that sketch can, it can only be, it can only have one real line in it. The other lines that you reference it from have to be construction lines. It can only have one real line. Okay, guys? <clears throat> That's the key to making that angle making that a control a plane at any angle. I'll save that as a separate video.